We are back! My laptop crashed. It, that's what happened. So I have to start over. Luckily I wasn't too far, but this happened one other time when I was streaming The Walking Dead Season 1. I was almost to the end. I was in this, the, on the second to last episode, I think. It crashed and lost all of my save data. So um, in this game, I think it's a little different. I mean, I think there's a save button somewhere in here. Empty slot. Yay! Now if it happens again, I don't lose my place. But I honestly don't know what's up with my laptop. Every now and then, it just blue screens on me. Hopefully it doesn't happen again! So let's follow the path. We go down the trail, we see a cave, and we are going to go into the cave, even though I know that there's a bear in there. Because I saw a screenshot. <laughs> but we are going to see if we can survive this bear. There is a faint whistle from the wind passing between the rocks. The temperature significantly cools as you enter the cave. You notice that there is a different smell, but you welcome it, comparing it to the deathly blight found outside. Alright. Go further into the cave. There is the bear. There is my bear friend. I'm gonna name him Winnie. Winnie the Pooh. Before you take your next step, a large bear emerges from the darkness. You realize that you have made a terrible mistake, even thinking that something helpful can be in here. I'm not gonna fight the bear. Let's run away. The moment you turn to run, the bear roars with a deep growl, shaking the loose stones about the cave. All you can think about is making it back home in one piece. Go, go! Oh! Well, you make it to the trail, then the bear catches up with you, tackling you to the ground. You scream in pain as the bear rips you apart. Jeez! Your adventure ends here. And my achievement is scratch another off the list. So I could find every possible way to die. I'm gonna go back and fight the bear. Let's see what happens. You scan the ground and notice that there are numerous rocks you can grab to throw at the bear. You begin to do so as the bear approaches you. One after the other, you throw the rocks as hard as you can. Nope, okay. The bear charges at you as you bend over to grab another rock, tackling you to the ground. The bear bites into your neck. Your body quickly goes limp and you die. Alright, so let's go out of the cave. Oh, I can't go past here? I can't go back? Oh, I can only go back to my last choice. No! Alright, uh, follow the path, and this time we are not going to be dumb and go into the cave. But, I, I mean, I just wanted to say hi to a, the bear. All the bears on TV are friendly. Little bear, Winnie the Pooh. You come to a stop as you stumble upon a broken wagon. Let's inspect the wagon. There can't be anything harmful about inspecting a broken wagon. You look about the mess and find bits of food and clothes scattered about the scene. You notice a key on the ground during your search. Ooh. You pick up the key and continue on your way. After what felt like an hour or two, you reach a bridge. Nearby the path is a small shack similar to the house you have on the farm. The man that lives here is a kind fellow, from what you recall. Maybe his home? Hmm. Let's inspect the shack. See if we can find his fr our friend. You walk toward the structure and knock on the door. You scratch the back of your head, figuring that the person that lives here is currently occupied, if not elsewhere. You remember picking up a key from the wagon, and you use it on the door. I'm breaking in? That's not what I wanted. But alright. You decide to help yourself in. Why did we find his key? And there was bits of scattered clothes and food? Like, is that guy okay? I'm starting to suspect that maybe he's not okay. Observing the empty room, you realize something terrible must have taken place here. No, really? The room is a wreck, just like the wagon. You are overcome with fear as you think of the man that used to dwell here. What is this? Like, are you noticing the marks that are leading to that trap door? I feel like this is really a bad idea, but let's open the trap door. <laughs> you observe the trap door and notice a lock keeping it closed. With the key, you unlock the hatch and get it open. Without thinking, you travel downward. Oh! Whoa, hey there, miss! Walking down the steps leading below, the air attacks your body with a piercing cold. You notice immediately that there is a woman chained to the wall. She doesn't seem to notice you as you study her. You feel darkness surround you as you stay in this awful place. I'm not just leaving the woman. You tremble as you try to form words in your mouth. You there, let me out of here. 
The pressure of such a demand makes you freeze. You take a moment to think about the situation before you respond. What got you locked up to begin with? <clears throat> You'll never believe me, even if I told you the truth. Something brought you here. Please, have mercy on me. Why do I feel like... Freeing the woman is gonna be a bad idea. Well, let's find out why. You approach the woman and unlock the shackles that bind her. As her arms become... As her arms become free, she moans in pain. Oh, thank you so much. The woman struggles to regain her strength, but starts to stand up on her own. As she gets up, she turns toward you. Hmm. Hey, pretty lady. I will now do you a favor. Ah! What seemed to be the face of a helpless woman disappears as a horrible image manifests itself before you. You feel the chilling grip of bone hands lock onto your arms. Energy flees from your body, and you fall to your knees. What kind of favor was that? You feel the essence of your life slip away as everything goes black. It is unfortunate that your journey ends here. Achievement unlocked, the damsel in distress. Wow, okay. So let's go back to declining. Oh no, I can't go back. That's the farthest I can- No! Oh man, I should have saved earlier. Follow the path. Da da da, continue down the path. Blah blah blah. Inspect the wagon. Blah blah blah. Blah 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 blah. There's a shack there. Let's let's. I still want to inspect the shack. <laughs> we unlock the door and go in. And this time I'm not going down there. I mean, probably if I declined, I would still die. Like just seeing the woman, I'd probably die. So let's inspect the book on the table. You pick up the book and start to flip through the pages. You discover that this is a journal. Reading a passage or two can't hurt. Today's trading went smoothly. Thank goodness. Why? What I am thrilled most about, however, is what one of my buddies mentioned to me at the conclusion of our day. Apparently, there is a pond nearby that has some of the biggest fish in the region. With a good catch, I can make enough to move things forward. I was caught off guard when he mentioned that nobody has been able to catch any from there. I guess your typical fishing rod won't do the trick. But what can be done about it, then? Something to be intrigued about, I suppose. These past couple weeks have been really rough for me. My trading business has gone under, and I have lost nearly everything I own. This has pushed me to the ex to extremes, but that can't be helped now. I am leaving this place forever, never to return. The land is dying, and there is nothing but darkness here. Anyone reading this should leave while they can. Oh! How did he know? How did he know? You can't find a name to give this man, but regardless of the name, you got chills running down your spine. That's very similar to what um, our journal was like. Let's leave the shack. I don't care about that woman. You cross the bridge safely and continue down the trail. Our journal started off the same way where we were like, yay, well, things are going good. If I can do this, things will go better. And then the next entry is, well, this sucks. After all that has happened, you feel that you should take a moment to rest. You find a spot under a tree and sit down. Getting comfortable, you tilt your head back against the tree and gaze into the sky. Hmm. As you pick at the grass blades in your reach, the ground begins to shake. Before you can get up, roots from below sprout from the ground and wrap around your legs. I thought that was the choice that wouldn't get me killed. I thought taking- ah! I thought taking a nap- was the choice that would get me, like someone would come along and kill me or something. You turn around to see a large, angry face looking back at you. Your jaw drops in horror. <sighs> no sound or scream escapes your tongue as you, as the tightening grip of the roots squeeze what air is left out from your body. <laughs> your adventure ends here. Nature will rise against you. Oh man, okay. I need to start saving before my choices. Alright. Oh man, I can't save! I can't save on this part. Well, let's take a nap. Hope I don't die. Your eyes close and your body relaxes. You fall asleep within seconds. As your mind wanders, you see a blurry image. Oh! Details emerge as you gaze. You wonder who this might be. A bad feeling then overcomes you. 
and you realize who this is. Is that me? I think that's me. You try to wake yourself up. No. Okay, that was the sound of me waking up. You wake up and jump to your feet looking about yourself and your surroundings. I think that was me. We're gonna save. Yes. All seems well. You can't help but feel fearful that something bad will happen to you if you stay here. Moving forward seems like the only logical option now. I never went into my shed. I didn't know that I was going to keep, like, walking away from my house. I didn't get to see what's in the shed. You reach a point where the trail splits in two paths. Which way should you go? Aw, oh, man. Alright, well, I'm a righty. I'm right-handed, so I'm going to say go right. Let's go. You reach the end of the pathway. Oh, there's a period there. I should have ended that sentence. You reach the end of the pathway. In the distance is a tower looking over the area. A gate secures passage to the area with a wall around the property. Also, also of interest, there is a tree that has a hole carved into it. Do we want to... I know this is going to be a bad idea, but I'm going to inspect the tree. You approach the tree and notice the hole is big enough to fit your hand in it. Really? You look and see something shiny in the hole as if it were metal. Feeling around with your hand, you find three knobs. One on the right, one centered in the middle, and one on the left. Knobs? This is... I'm gonna die. Let's do it. Let's... let's press the middle one. Let's press the right one. The knobs lock in place. You wait for a moment, but nothing happens. It must be some sort of combination. Am I supposed to go find out the combination? Like, was I supposed to know that? Hold on, I'm gonna try this again. I'm just gonna keep- there's only so many combinations. Right, middle, left. Dang. Okay. Left, middle, right. Dang. Middle, left, right. I'm telling you guys, there's only so many combinations that there can be. I feel like I'm doing- I've done all the combinations. If this isn't it, then I'm done. Okay. Leave the tree. I don't know what it is. Maybe I'll find out at the gate. I just didn't want to, like, I was worried that if I went to the gate, um, it wouldn't let me go back. I'm going to save. You approach the gate cautiously. Why not? Ooh. Standing before the tower, your heart begins to sink. This is no doubt the birthplace of the spreading plague. Ooh. So if we can kill it, then we can... We can save the farm! There is a fountain where you... I can't read. There, There is a fountain before you with statuses, statues, on your right and left. Oh my goodness, I can't read. Let's see. Uh, what do we want to do? Let's inspect the fountain and see if it kills us. There is a dark haze about the fountain. The water is black and the, sm and the smell burns with every breath. You feel a slight pull toward the fountain, as if it were for, were as if it were calling for something. Okay, we didn't die. That's good. Um, inspect the statue on the left. Whoa! It's the teaching statue. You see an old statue of an angel that has been consumed by vines of thorn. The angel is holding a book in one hand, and the other with one finger pointed up up toward the sky. You feel it best to leave the statue alone. What about the one on the right? Before you stands an old angel statue that has broke in many... That has broke... Broken? In many areas. With one hand, the angel is holding some sort of bowl, while the other hand is hovering over the bowl. You notice that there is only two remaining fingers on the angel's other hand. You feel you should keep your distance and just observe the statue. We're not going to see what's in the bowl? That's no fun. Alright, so the only other thing we can do is enter the tower. You approach the door. As you reach for the doorknob, an invisible barrier stops you. It must be some sort of magic. Alright, so we can't do anything there. This is where the puzzles start. Go back to where the path split. Oh yeah, I forgot we could go left. <laughs> <clears throat> After continuing down the path for some time, you come to a stop. Oops, sorry, I hit the desk. You notice that there is some sort of trail that leads you... that leads through the grass up toward a nearby hill. Hold on. I did one of those things where I read it, but I actually didn't pay attention to it. If you had not stopped, you probably would have, wouldn't have noticed. Which way do you go? Let's follow the... Let's follow the trail. Hmm. Following the subtle trail in the grass, you stumble upon what looks like a grave. 
inspect the grave. You approach it. You look at the sword with intrigue. Oh! Hello! Hello! Before you can touch the sword, a ghostly figure appears before you. You freeze before the apparition. The sword, may I have it? The blade is cursed. I am bound here by the pain of my past. I don't know what that voice is. If you desire this sword, free me from it. You slowly motion for the sword. Fool! Only someone of a pure essence can free me. A rare hope, like a flower found in darkness. Do we want to chance it? I mean... You know what? Let's go for it. You reach for the sword. Before you can lay a finger on it, the spirit grabs your arm. <sighs> That's the vision we saw earlier. A sharp pain flows over your body as your flesh starts melts off your bones. What fragments rem remain fall to the ground. Your adventure ends here. <laughs> a cursed blade. Great! Okay, that was our achievement. Okay, I still want to go down. I want to see what happens if I just back away. If he, like, still kills me. Do 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 Back away. You listen to the specter and leave the sword. The figure fades out of view. I guess I could inspect it again. I don't think I... Continue on. You pause to see that there is a lake nearby. The trail continues on to your right. Let's inspect the lake. I want to die every way possible. Kind of. Maybe. As long as I remember to save. Like now. Now what's going to come out and drown me? You step near the lake and look down into it. Resting underwater is an orb of some sort, sitting on the bottom of the lake. There is something strange about it, as if it were calling out to you. What's with all of these inanimate objects calling out? Like, hmm, hmm. This seems like the same choice. Let's, I don't see anything wrong with that. I don't, I'll be fine, right? Just hold your breath. You close your eyes and jump into the lake. You open your eyes to see the stone sitting before you. You start to make your way toward it. Yup, hey, whoa, hmm. Hey, fishy. A large fish comes into view. It quickly notices you with its mouth stretched open. That is not a fish. You see those arms? Fish don't have arms. Ah! You try to leave for the, le you try to leave for the surface, but the fish catches up to you. You quickly find yourself helpless before the creature. You close your eyes as the giant fish rips your body apart with its teeth. You die a very painful death. Ugh. Well, this game is cheery. You don't need a fishing permit. <laughs> and we're going to continue. The faint trail comes to an end. There's a collection of stone pillars down the hill. Be beyond the hill is a large field of grass. Let's inspect the pillars. Oh. You stand before the large stones, arranged in the shape of a circle. In the center is a stone with what appears to be some sort of slot or hole. No doubt about it, something is meant to be placed there. Seeing that you can't do anything, you head back. What's meant to be placed there? Explore the field. Let's do that. You find yourself gazing over a grass field with hills rolling off into the, into the distance. As if a trick upon your eyes, you see a unicorn run across the field. It disappears out of sight before you can do anything. Surely the unique powers of a unicorn can help you with your, with your quest, but there is clearly something wrong. If only there was a way to charm it. Oh, okay, let's go back. We'll find a way. There's so many puzzles that I can't do anything about right now. You remember what the spirit said? Only something of a pure essence can free me. A rare hope, like a flower found in darkness. Probably a unicorn, right? A unicorn could do it. So let's go down the path. A well. You walk for some time to find an endless field of grass. There is a stone well near the path. Inspect the well. You peer down the well. Other than the evident water at the bottom, there is a coin resting against the wall of the well. <laughs> Pooh! Hiccups. If possible, you feel you should go down and take the coin. Why? But okay, if you say so, let's do it. If a, if a long-haired girl climbs out of this, then I'm out. Bye. 
You lean over the edge of the well. There's no possible way you can obtain the coin by reaching for it. With this in mind, you turn and climb down along the inner wall of the well. You take a few successful steps down, but your luck runs out. You misplace your foot and fall. Tumbling about, your body clashes against the stone walls. With a single knock on the head, you lose all consciousness of your accident. With a splash, you fall into the water. Your body sinks effortlessly, and you drown without realizing it. You're drowned. <laughs> Achievement unlocked. Oh, shiny! Gonna continue. Walking over hills of grass and grain, you reach the walls of Aramor. Aramor. You reach the walls of Aramor. Several times a year, you come here to trade goods from the farm. Doesn't look too good. You discover the plague that has spread to your farm has also spread all the way out here. The path before you is overrun with blight. Continue across. You have come a long way and you don't desire to turn back now. You're mo you march forward into the tainted soil. Do I die? <laughs> Before you can realize what happened, you sink completely under the ill soil. Can we talk about how that music sounded sad? Like, meow. <laughs> Darkness consumes you and your lungs struggle for air. Your body burns in pain as you suffocate and die. Your adventure ends here. Achievement unlocked. It was all for nothing! Oh... I guess we don't want to go in there, then. You realize that you must go back. There is no way to reach the city. Well, I mean... I'm not really sure what to do now. Inspect the tree. I'm literally just guessing, because I don't know where this combination is. Oh, wait. Hold on a minute. I didn't realize I could press knobs twice. Aw, oh, man. That's gonna make this even harder. Man, I don't know. I can't figure it. This, there, there's too many possibilities now that I know that I can press them multiple times. <laughs> There's gotta be something here. This isn't a game where you can go and click things, so it's gotta be in the story somewhere. I don't see any clues. Could it be his fingers? He's missing some fingers, but it doesn't tell me. All right, I'll figure this out, hold on. I'm gonna start over and go to the shed because there's gotta be something. I can't remember what you did with the key. Why in bed? Lay in bed and fall asleep to the light sound of wind blowing outside against the grass. You begin to hear whispers and chants. But you can't make anything of it. An image appears before you, a stone, glowing as if it were alive. The chant gets louder as your vision grows in more detail. You reach toward the stone with your hand. As your finger makes contact, a clash of thunder rattles around you. Your clothing and skin start to flake away, like dust in the wind. The particles flow into the stone, sapping the life from your body. You feel pain you have never experienced before, and fear begins to flood over you. You suddenly see yourself laying in bed, never to wake up again. I died in my sleep? Really? What? I am so lost. This is crazy. I don't know what I'm doing. I honestly do not know. Right, left, right. That might have been, I actually... <gasps> I did it! You hear the rumbling of rocks as the ground starts to shift underneath you. That was just a guess! Oh my gosh! Everything goes dark and you sink below the surface. The hole above you seals up, trapping you underground. Oh, okay, we're not dead yet. You find yourself with no evident way out, but the path before you into the darkness. Your only choice is to move forward. You see three separate paths within the walls of the cavern. Which path do you choose? Okay, you know what, guys? I'm going to leave this episode here. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. This is really interesting so far. Like, it's it's creepy. All right, if you're still watching this, thanks for sticking around. Remember to thumbs up this video, comment down below, and boop that subscribe button for more videos. Until next time, have fun, guys. A golden doodle. So this is Clementine. She is a girl, and she was named after Clementine. Don't even think about it. Take it. What did I get? <gasps> I got a friend! I don't know how I was supposed to know that combination for the tree, other than just trying every possible com combination.